In requesting various interviews today regarding public health, the current case at Mayo Clinic, and new developments as we are continually learning more, comes a change now in how those who are collaborating to give information are releasing the information. There is a strict new protocol with this. Understandably so. Information needs to be accurate, and those who are giving it have to all be speaking to one another, which they are. So today's news conference is how we'll likely get further developments in this. This afternoon, local health officials holding that news conference, addressing our first case of the coronavirus confirmed here in Olmstead County. After the event, I spoke with Police Chief Jim Franklin, talking about how he and his department are preparing for and protecting not only public safety, but the men and women on his own force as they remain on the front lines working the public every single day. You can tell me about uh, community response as far as EMS goes. Yeah, so for the past several weeks we've had several planning meetings. Uh, we've had a public safety coordination meeting, a public health coordination meeting. Uh, we've set up a joint information center that's a collaborative communication center. Uh, we've also had extensive leadership team discussions within the city of Rochester as well as uh, discussions internally with the Rochester Police Department. When people have questions and they see you out patrolling or your cops out patrolling. What do you say to them? Feel free to come up to us and ask questions, and we're taking our guidance from uh, Olmstead County Public Health Department and the Minnesota Health Department, obviously monitoring uh, CDC websites and taking our information there as well. We do have an online portal uh, through our website, so you can report uh, non-in-progress crimes through our website. If uh, you don't want to come down to the police department and get uh, reports or information, you can fax us or call us or email, and we can get you those reports via mail. So the, the positive is, is we live in a a uh, day and age of technology where we can still be responsive to the community's needs uh, at a little bit of a distance. And the bottom line is we don't want to panic anybody. Now that it reaches to Olmstead County, people get a little bit more nervous. We've been discussing and planning for this for weeks in a collaborative effort to ensure that we're going to provide the highest level of public safety possible to the community while all at, this, at the same time ensuring that our first responders are protected.